So now picking up where we left off, so in the previous video, which you'll find a link to that down in the description, we demonstrated how to use Telnet Lib with single host as well as how to run it with multiple hosts. We discussed and demonstrated terminal paging and we also discussed and demonstrated how to take the output that we get and parse it into a list. So what we're going to do in this video here is we're going to pick up on the last item down there and how we can actually take multiple outputs that we get, you know, multiple tables as a result of executing multiple commands and then store those each into individual variables. So now if we take a look at the setup, this is going to be the same as last time. So on this window station here, I'm at 141, and in two virtual machines, I have Cisco routers. So one is at 93, and the other is at 94. Okay, so now when looking at the code, the only thing I'm going to discuss here is anything that we didn't cover in that previous video. So the first thing that we can see up here is that we renamed our file from basic.py to commandmodule.py. And then down here, the way that this module is going to work is what's going to happen is we want to be able to supply either a list of commands or just a single command and then based on what we supply we want to return the same thing. So if it's a list we want to return a list. If it's a single command then we just want to return a single string. So up here for commands this is just our positional argument right and then down here depending on what we get we want to return so if it's a list we want to take each of those outputs which is by the way just a single string and we want to append it to a list and then down here if it's a single command then we just want to return the single string and then down here if I hover over my return statement so you can see that what we're returning what std out is right is either going to be a list or a string so now if we take a look over here on main so I have a couple of example functions here and obviously each of these functions may you know possibly be included in their own module depending on how you're building out your application but again it's just to demonstrate supplying a list of commands or a single command and then notice that we're storing the outputs into individual variables and again depending on your application needs this is most likely going to make working with the data much much easier alright so we're supplying the command show users and show IP route and then we're naming the variable after the commands that we're executing and then down here in main we're simply just calling those functions so now just to demonstrate that we're printing each of those outputs out I'm just gonna navigate to my desktop and then execute the script and we can see that we get it 